I want to end this uh, this wonderful day with saying that preparing the symposium was a di delightful experience. Living it with you today was absolutely amazing. I was impressed to hear at the beginning that the students talk about their experiences. Uh, they courageously jumped on a moving train to help us as we were writing the white paper this summer, which in itself was a challenge because we were documenting a widespread phenomenon with a lot of uh, moving parts. As our Dean Fernand Gervais mentioned, our lineup of 18 high profile panelists from Canada, the United States, Europe and the Middle East brought us through the landscape of changes in higher education caused by the COVID-19 uh, COVID uh, pandemic and what they are doing to lead the future of higher education. There are more, many more people involved in this and it's only the beginning. There are a few takeaways from the symposium that I want to point out. Uh, the rapidity of changes, as we've heard uh, all day, we accomplished major changes in six months, which should have taken years. There have been some hiccups along the way, but we are moving in the right direction. So we heard about the positive things, despite the, the negative aspects. Uh, faculty and student voices are being heard, and we are listening. The crisis created many more links between units, TTLs, and all services uh, that uh, also take care of, of the whole teaching and learning, like all the teaching and learning services have better connections with faculty members across various units and faculties facing similar problems and challenges are collaborating more than ever. Finally, in a certain perspective, CTLs are recognizing the benefits uh, the disruption from COVID-19 can have for education. It has forced education institutions to reevaluate re their pedagogical and equity approaches, and it presents an opportunity to create positive change. Since the eruption of the unprecedented, uh, unprecedented <laughs> crippling COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic, CTLs done their capes and bridged gaps to help faculty ensure quality education for all students, regardless of the delivery modalities. Given the continued turbulence in the environment related to the pandemic and inability of government officials and scientists to predict the end of the pandemic or the wide-scale release of a reliable vaccine, the work of CTLs has just begun. Thank you to everyone involved in the white paper in uh, today's uh, panels, uh, today's symposium, and everyone was involved in the whole change. Thank you to Avia, to Lise Langlois, to Guillaume and Leticia, uh, who did the work in the background, to all the moderators, to the panelists, and to the attendees. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and a good weekend, and see you soon.